This is the uh, TCAP 7th grade math t practice test, question number 17 in the math section. Ms. Anderson traveled from Nashville, Tennessee to Kansas City, Missouri. Her trip was 480 miles, and it took 7 hours and 30 minutes. Which trip represents the same rate of travel? Now, in order to figure out what the rate of travel is, once again, I'm going to set up a ratio or make a fraction out of this, and things will look good for me. I'm going to figure out the number of miles over the amount of time. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. You can convert the hours into minutes and then just do it all out of minutes, which you know may take forever. Or you could just think about the fact that 30 minutes is half an hour, so you do seven and a half hours, so 7.5 hours, or type in seven and a half. But what happens, you get some funky weird minutes. Well, if you could set the minutes up as a nice little fraction over 60, because there's 60 minutes in an hour, you can convert this baby into hours in no time. So I'm going to do this. So what I'm going to do is type 7, 30, over 60. And you could type in whatever minutes are there. They gave you 15 minutes, you do 15 over 60. If they did 12 minutes, you do 12 over 60. Always put the minutes in at over 60, and then you've gone ahead and converted everything into hours. Because if you type 7.30 in, that's going to be wrong, because it doesn't mean the same thing. You have to set up a fraction. If you want to reduce the fraction ahead of time and then add it to the 7, all that's fine. But let's just go ahead and type in uh, 480 divided by 7, and then I'm going to hit on my calculator, I'm using the TI-30X, uh, the ABC button. And then I'm going to type 30, and then I'm going to hit that same ABC button again, and then 60. So mine looks like 480, and then it's got a slash, and it's 7, then this little thing, 30, this little thing, 60. That's what mine looks like. I hit enter, and it gives me 64, which means she went 64 miles per hour. Now, what I want to do is find a trip that represents that same rate. So I'm looking for 64 miles per hour. So all I'm going to do is take the number of miles and divide by the number of hours. So in A, I'm going to do 120 divided by 2 hours. That'll give me 60 miles per hour, so that's not it. B gives me 192 divided by 3. 192 divided by 3 is 64. See how this matches this? That means it's the same rate of travel, so the answer is B. But in order to uh, test my theory on how you set up fractions for this, I'm going to go ahead and do C just for my own edification, I guess. I'll do 100 divided by 1 over 30, or 1 and 30 over 60. So I'm going to type in 100, 1 ABC 30, ABC 60. I hit Enter. And it gives me 66 and 2 thirds, which means they're going faster, and it's not the same, obviously, because we already figured out the answer. I just wanted to prove that that kind of thing actually does work. So anytime you have minutes and you need to convert it to hours, just make a nice little minutes over 60 fraction, whatever the minutes they gave you is, divided by 60 or over 60 as a fraction, and you'll bounce right out, convert it to hours in no time.